All right, today, folks, I've got a treat for you. His name is Paul Porter, a.k.a. my Yes Man. He does interiors, architecture, residential property photography, but let's be honest, he can pretty much do anything. We're talking about photographing real estate and figuring out how to make the most of what you got. Let's be honest, when you walk into a room, it doesn't always look the best, but you got to figure out how to make it look so, and he's great at it. And then, last but not least, the best types of clients to have. So, have a little listen. If you got any questions, throw them down below. But until then, buckle up. It's story time. Welcome back, folks. We are here with Collaboration Station and my man, Paul Porter. I'm not going to talk about it. I'll, I'll let him talk about himself. All right, go. Talk to me. Who are you? What do you do? Why are you here? Why am I here? Because um, I thought I'd come by for a coffee. And then it turns out that there's a lot more going on than just having a coffee. Sometimes. Uh, so I'm a photographer, architectural photographer, um, based in Essex, uh, cover wherever I'm required. Yeah, I like taking pictures of buildings and houses and whatever people pay me to photograph, to be honest. Which is funny, because we did not meet that way. We met at a travel conference we talking did. about travel photography. One of them evenings where a um, lot of people talking about a variety of different things that didn't involve either of us, and we were both at the bar. It was like, hmm, he's on his own there. I'm on my own. Might as well see if he wants to have a drink in a non-creepy way. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, that critical, was... Critical, non-creepy way. Yes. Yeah, that was probably, I don't know, four, five years ago now? Well, that was the beginning. But I will say that the, the way that we've stayed in contact, which is what one of the things I love about you besides the fact that you're a good photographer, is the fact that you say yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I've had a number of projects come along which were, I mean, less than appealing. Yeah. Much less than appealing. <laughs> and I was like, man, we need to figure out how to do this. And I'm like, Paul will... Paul will know how to do this. I'm going to call Paul, and Paul's going to bail me out of this jam. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to get into specific names of specific companies, but there was this one. It was involving travel, and we had to photograph a lot of hotels. Yes, we did. And those hotels were grim. <laughs> yes, they were. That was, yeah. That. But there if you looked at your photographs, you wouldn't think they were as grim as they were. No, no. Um, ever so slightly embellishing the truth. Um... <laughs> because they were pretty nasty. Um, but the idea behind the project was to capture the best side to showcase what these places had, um, whether it be location or um, a sauna or the restaurant attached to it or whatever. And it was trying to make the best of a bad scenario. <coughs> Some places were quite scary areas too, and like <laughs> walking around with my bag and all my gear, and I was thinking... What are we, we going to get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually one of the things I want to talk to you about, about property photography in general. Yeah. What I find is you try and paint the best picture you can, but you're like, actually, this place is not very nice. And I feel like in real estate photography, that happens all the time. Yes, it does. Like, pictures can be really misleading. Sometimes you get to a place and it's considerably smaller than what has been shown within the pictures. Yet... For me, I have to be careful because I don't want to embellish the truth. I want people to, I, you know, I want my lines to be straight, not too, too wide. If you're seeing more than three walls, it's like, how, how is this place big? Is this small? Yeah. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> like, how'd you get those all in frame? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. How, what, like, is that 11 millimeter wide lens or something? I don't know. You just have to be, have to be a little bit careful with it. Oh. I mean, it's nice that you've got a little, some ethics in your photography. I feel like yeah. a lot of times I go to properties, say like searching for properties in London, you look on the site and you're like, okay, great. I've got five photographs. They're all super duper stretched. They look like this place is massive. And then you get there and everybody's time has been wasted. I don't yep. want to be there because this property is not for me. No. The, the person who's showing me the house is like, oh, well, we thought you liked the photos. And you're like, I like the photos. I don't like the place I'm standing in right now. I feel like there's a couple of agencies that nail it, and I feel like there's a couple of realtors that get it. It's like, yeah. we're selling you a home, yeah. a property you're going to live in. It's like, why don't we just give you all the photographs, and you make the choice? It's yeah. like, that way you show up on the day, you've got 20, 30 images, you know what the place is going to look like, you have a, a better understanding of what the place is, and therefore I'm not going to show up, open the door, be like, what? There's a couple of different ways, because like, some, some will want to just whet the appetite, of a viewer that's like a prospective buyer so they want to show key things um, I think it really it depends upon the property itself because there are some sometimes you don't need to see 
a laundry room if it's just got like a washing machine in it and you do need to have more pictures of a kitchen uh, dining area living room the bedrooms and it's just about showcasing the features but you, you don't want people to be uh, I don't know you, you don't want people to miss out on things and to have nasty surprises when they turn up you want them to be excited about turning up to this property for the agent to then be like yeah this I've got you in the door now I'm going to show you all the bells and whistles and um, you're going to buy it and give them commission so talk to me, as a professional photographer, you walk into that scenario, you're standing there before, say, anybody like who wants to buy it walks mm -hmm. in. Yep. And so you have a job to do. Yep. You want to make these photos look as beautiful as possible. But at the same time, is there any bounce or give and take with a, with a prospective realtor or real estate agency where you go, why don't we photograph a little bit more of that and a little bit of that and we'll just get all of it? Yep. Or maybe you should showcase that. Yeah. Do they, well, do they lean into you as a professional and yes. ask those questions? Well, I've got a, a good real estate client, and they are very much like, we've got a good understanding. They know, they have told me what they want. I know what they want, and we're on the same page. And we'll go into a property, have a look around, and then it'll be like, we can, let's, let's, let's make this happen with this and this and this, and let's let's wow them and they're also really good about the relationship with the homeowner because the homeowner obviously the homeowner wants to sell the property to move or, or to showcase the property and sometimes you go to a place and it's a it's not very tidy and ideally because I, I send a list beforehand like you need this tidy cars out of the driveway like bins moved you want it photo ready and then getting things because you you want to be able to show this angle and this angle and this angle and if, if it's all cluttered and stuff it's not going to be able to show the best side of the property and also things are movable within a house and that's not going to be coming with the house that the prospective buyer will be getting if that makes sense yeah, yeah. to have it a bit emptier and to be able to showcase the full space is very beneficial. I mean, the conversation on game day, when you walk into a, a building, is, is, it, is it a struggle or a fight to get what you want? Not with this client, no. Okay, that's always no. handy to have those clients. But, that, yeah. but that's the thing, right? Not everybody's the same. Because there are sometimes that I walk in, like I've had it with other clients, that they're like, I want this shot, this shot, this shot, this shot. I shouldn't have tapped that because that's probably echo through here. But they want this shot, this shot, this shot, this shot. And then, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to look at you. You're telling me what you want. I will create for you what you want. But I'm, I'm just saying now, my professional opinion, that might not work. So I can do that for you. But I will also give you alternatives that I think you might prefer. Um, because I'm here, I might as well do it. That sounds like you're talking about me, Paul. The times that I told you to walk into these hotels and make them look awesome, <laughs> and you're like, I can't make this look awesome, but I'll do everything I can to make it look as good as possible. Well, that's the thing. It sounds right? like you're talking to me. Well, yeah, I mean, it is. Like, you know, you want, because you want the client to be like happy that they've got you there, right? They're, they want to be happy with the work that you are, they, or they want, I want people to be happy with the images that I've supplied so that they call me again uh, to make some more, regardless of what the environment is, because. For every bad environment, you get a good one as well. Well, you know, like, you, well, I say that, it doesn't always happen. Um, but it's, it's about finding the balance. Um, it's communication, it's the relationship that you're building and the trust to know that, because ultimately they're relying on me to make the pictures that's going to make their money, that's going to make the sale. And it's going to, and then we'll then continue with it. We'll get them more business. So one of the things that I've always uh, appreciated about you is that you're great at saying yes <laughs> and Sometimes i love some, yes man <laughs> yeah friday was a good example friday was a great example well, thir yeah thursday last hi, paul. week yeah last week hi paul how's it going um are you in town every day is different right i'm very fortunate i work for myself i'm able to spend time uh, like you give me c calls about a variety of different projects and everyone's like they're all different Every day is different, and it's it's fun. But I think that ethos, the idea of you know you 
one day you decided to pick up a camera and get some more jobs, right? Yep. And you go, how does one get more work? How do I get more paying clients? And you, well, you just say, say yes. yes to everything. Yeah. Well, it's funny because like watching your podcast and stuff, and it is, it is true, right? You just say yes to everything. Like, how did I become an architectural photographer? By saying yes. Like at the beginning, you're photographing people, um, events. Uh, oh, can you photograph a property? Yes. <laughs> of course yeah. I can. And then they say, okay, well, you're hired. And you're like, great. Google, how to photograph a property? <laughs> and it's like, oh my goodness, right. So this is what I need to learn. And then it turned out that that how to photograph a property has proved better for me than photographing um, events or other things. Like, I love it, right? It's, it, it's, it doesn't blink which is really handy, um, doesn't scowl at me if I, you know, oh, say cheese. Like, it doesn't do that. It's all about the time of day and the way the light hits the building and stuff, and it's something that I can really delve into. And then the property side of things, I walk into so many different houses. Everybody's got different tastes. I've put, I'm putting a lot of these different tastes into my own house. It's like, I come back and I show the missus, and it's like, oh yeah, look what these people have done, and what these people have done. And I guess in a way, I'm just really nosy, right? Instead of looking through like Architectural Digest, World of Interiors, I go in the house and I photograph them. It's really quite handy. Yeah, luckily, you're not like Santa, you don't like break in through the chimney, you're actually invited through the front door. I'm invited, yes. That's handy. Yes. And that's it, folks. Check them out. How can we check you out? How can we find you? Uh, Instagram, uh, London Property Photographer. Um, or just go to my website, www.paulkporter.com. And that's it. Taco burrito. In fact, I'm going to go eat one right now. With some guacamole. Peace. <laughs>